Hi Cancer, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Cancer, let's see how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And uh, yes Cancer, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. All right, Cancer, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Cancer, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, three of cups. Normally, Three of Cups is a card of reconciliation, Cancer, but I don't know why I feel that somebody is not being able to decide between two options. They are unable to make a choice. They are stuck. The other person also, even though they, they wanted happiness with person A, they feel that person A is just delaying making that choice or something. I don't know. I'm going to clarify these cards, of course, Cancer. Let's start with uh, some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then I'll clarify these. Cancer and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Cancer and their person. Cancer and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Cancer and that person. All right, let's take a few more Cancer from another deck. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Cancer and that person spirit. Cancer and that person. All right. And just a few more Cancer from a third deck as well. If I can find it, here it is. And uh, Cancer last week left for personal readings. In March I will not be doing personal readings. Maybe in April I'll re-begin. I'll keep you posted. So with that, we begin our reading today. The first card here says, I show off on social media for you. I've never felt such an intense connection. I loved you more than I loved myself. Then I realized I didn't love myself. I'm healing my heart from past hurt. Give me some time. I need your time and commitment. I kept the text messages. There is a huge void in my life since you've been gone. I want to spend the rest of my life loving you. Are you sorry for hurting me? I tend to look at your social media pages waiting on signs to connect with you. If I give in to you, you'll have the power to break both my heart and mind. I can't survive that. It's sometimes hard to keep the faith when you're taking so long to commit. Even if this wasn't a third party situation, Cancer, maybe somebody was just dilly dallying for too long, not making a choice. Maybe now they want to work things out and reconcile, but I get nervous to call you. I don't want you to ignore me. I want to talk to you, but I'm just scared. All right, so Cancer, these are some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message for Cancer. Healing. Well, the universe is sending you healing. Maybe there is a possibility of healing this connection as well. Cancer depends on depends on how badly things have gone 
But there is healing available. Let me see whether it's this for this connection or not. Spirit, um, okay, I'm focusing on person A now, Cancer. And uh, this is not like the man is here or the woman is there. These are two soul energies in front of me. I could be picking up on the same sex couple as well, right? So if this is your reading, you'll immediately pick up which side you're on. For me, this is just one soul here, one soul here, person A and person B. So focusing only on person A, then we'll move to the other side. So person A, uh, two of pentacles. What, what's this back and forth energy? They don't know whether they, t they can. Oh, see, this is it. Lovers, lovers, clarified by the lovers. They don't know uh, whether they should take action or not. They do want to have victory in this connection. They do want to get over their stress and anxiety. But uh, this person is quite clear in one thing that they do want to, to have victory. They are in love, whatever said and done. One clarity has come to them. Maybe in the past, this person took too much time to make that decision. Should I, should I, should I not? They are coming to some kind of clarity, I feel. Yeah, now, <laughs> really, now that they have come to that clarity, now they want to rush back in. Oh my God, yes. Maybe this person just took too long, Cancer. They were just kind of wondering, should I, should I not? Is it possible? What choice should I make? Maybe they were sitting in a little bit of ego and pride as well. Mm, but now something has awakened inside this person where they feel, oh my God, I do love person B. They want to rush back in. They, they're seeing their future, I think, with person B, if I'm not wrong. So tell me why person A. Uh, why, why, why do you suddenly feel that you want to have victory and you love them and all that? Person A says, uh, I've been thinking, I've been in hermit mode. And, yeah, and maybe all this while they've been waiting for a message from person B to come to them. But now they're realizing that they, they were waiting in vain. Now they're figuring out that maybe person B has given up on them. They're exhausted of them, tired of them. So now they're trying to see things from person B's perspective and realizing maybe maybe they should go come forward. Yeah, this person is very stressed out, very, very stressed out because they are wishing for this connection. They're definitely wishing for this connection. But maybe earlier they were waiting that if I wait, if I, you know, dilly-dally a little longer, maybe person B will come forward with some kind of communication or send me a message. Now, since they realize that I'm just hanging hanging around for nothing meanwhile my person is giving up on me this person is having sleepless nights and stress and tension realizing that person B is the one who's their wish come true yeah but now they're scared they're scared they may not get a second chance okay person A how do you see person B now how do you feel about this connection how do you see person B Person A says, I really want to work things out with them, Omkara Taro. I, I really want to work things out with them. I've realized I love them. I realize I love them. And uh, I'm not sure whether uh, they'll want to work with me. Because in the past, I just treated them like an option or, um, you know, never saw their value. And now I'm scared. I'm scared that maybe they've already moved on. I took so much time. Maybe they've got, gone, on, gone on towards new love or something. They, they're not looking at me. They're not looking at the past and feeling sad and depressed. And that is saddening me. Now I'm feeling left out in the cold. I'm feeling depressed. I'm feeling abandoned because I feel my person's given up on me. Right? Okay, so, well, one more for you. Yes, they don't know what to do. I mean, they they are coming out of their stubbornness and trying to be the person I think person B always wanted them to be, but they're struggling with it. They're struggling whether they should maintain their uh, ego and their stubborn behavior. or But now the fear is that if they maintain it for too long, it'll be too late. So you'll have to take action. Be that emperor and take action. I'm going to keep this card here. And that's your action card. I'm going to go to person B first and figure them out. Person B, nine of cups. 
Yeah, I think person B is love. Person B is kind of uh, focusing on their own happiness now. Maybe, maybe trying to go towards a new love in their life. Focusing on, you know, just making their own dreams and wishes come true. Because they tell me that, you know, in, with person A, I was not, never truly happy because they never, they took too much time. Yeah, they took too much time to come and offer me anything concrete. Right? So, so I decided to get onto my chariot and keep it moving. And yes, I am moving towards my own happiness and maybe finding new love for myself. Why do you feel this way that, you know, you have to move on towards new love and this person was... Mm, person B says because um, they never expressed their emotions to me. They always hid how they truly felt. They always disappointed me. Just kept me emotionally hooked to them without, uh, you know, truly communicating about how they truly felt. And uh, yeah, maybe there were third parties or something as well. I don't know. Or just treating person B as a friends with benefits and maybe talking to others in the same way. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so maybe 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 pushing person B out and saying I'm not ready for commitment, whereas person B wanted that. So yeah, it broke their heart. It broke person B's heart. Too much of a party lifestyle, maybe I don't know. So tell me, person B, how do you see person A now? How do you feel about the connection? How do you feel about them? Uh, the sun in reverse. Why the sun in reverse? I think person B is not happy that uh, things have come to a stop. They feel that uh, person A is very rigid on their ideas where it comes to, uh, you know, long-term commitment, long-term partnership and uh, they, they, may, they may, may not have offered it or if person B suggests it, then they retreat, which makes person B very upset and angry. Uh, they are trying to come out of their disappointment. Uh, four of Cups in reverse, spirit. Yeah, they're trying to they're trying to forget about their disappointment now. Uh, like person B has their guard up and their boundary up to say, you know what? I know I'm marriage material. I need somebody committed, and um, I think. I think person B is discontent right now. They're bored. They're discontent. They they feel. I think they've been waiting for person B somewhere. Person B has been waiting somewhere for person A to return back to them. Maybe have that communication with them. End the fight with them. You know, rebuild things with them. But uh, I think they're finally putting their barriers up and to figure out that, yeah, you know, maybe this is the end and uh, they're never going to show up. Maybe I should accept that this is over. So let's see. Let's see what actions you guys will take. Uh, cancer, I'm going to take another deck for this one. And um, while I shuffle these cards, may I request you, if you could just tap the like button for me, please. Helps the videos to circulate, makes me feel happy. So thank you. And newcomers, repeating viewers, the ones who haven't subscribed already, do join our Omkara family and become part of us. We welcome you in. So person A, let's start with you. Action from your end towards person B or otherwise. Death in reverse. See, person A doesn't want things to end. They don't want things to end. So you'll have to do something for it, person A. What, what's your action? Eight of cups, seven of wands, four of pentacles, the justice card. They know they need to come back with an apology. They are very, very sorry about whatever happened in the past. They look back at the past with a lot of sadness, regret. They somewhere feel they deserve it. It's almost like they feel, I deserve what person B is doing to me. They see, they see their person as walking away from them. They're realizing that they never gave any emotional offer or anything concrete. And they're seeing person B maybe walk away, maybe uh, you know, ha put, up, put their barriers up or hold back from them. Now, 
on one level they feel yeah i deserve it and the other level they feel i want to ma- i want to do right by them uh i think they want to come back and apologize anything that can you know bring you guys back together in a reconciliation so will you apologize person a despite knowing that uh, person b may not be very uh, open to receiving you will you still go and try and make things right and apologize to them six of wands knight of pentacles and the king of pentacles i'm sure they're going to send a message very soon they will send a message very soon because they want to have victory they are they are coming in very very slow this time because they're a bit nervous cancer but uh, this person is showing up for the long haul they they have their ducks in a row they know what they want they want to come back and offer something stable so it may start off with this maybe a small message or a little apology but um, slow and steady they their actual goal is to have victory with the person that they love right so it's just their past baggage which is slowing them down a little bit but this person is now ready good okay person b what about you any action from your end towards person a or otherwise temperance what oh, person b is healing from this heartbreak and the universe is sending healing for you don't worry person b yes they are they are healing themselves from all the hurt and pain and disappointment so what's the temperance card clarify the temperance card person b death and rebirth four of swords oh my god yeah this person is very discontent they are trying to accept that the ending has happened and the, you know a new life awaits them at the moment i don't think they've gone anywhere person a i'm telling you you still have a chance person b hasn't really gone anywhere they are healing you know you broke their heart really bad look at this broken heart next to this person in a nest this is how how badly they were hurt so they are healing themselves yes they are a bit bit guarded now they are trying to protect their energy only because they never received that offer this is discontent and sadness that i expected you know some something to be offered to me and that offer never came so i don't think they've moved on anywhere or anything like that person you better rush send that message today if you can if you you're the one listening so spirit what's this three of cups is that a yes yes judgment card somebody wants a second chance don't stand at crossroads for too long though person i am telling you uh three of cups why is the three of cups here as uh, the overall energy for cancer's reading three of cups two of wands that I've, i said that right now don't stand at crossroads for too long you know waiting to get a reconciliation please yeah seven of swords devil three of uh, no no don't do that no don't do that out of fear both of you are sitting in that hesitant energy person a is scared they want to sneak back in uh looking at the past looking at past memories uh confused as to how to come in maybe feels that person b is now single and they won't want them in so they're sitting in fear and as much as they want a reconciliation they're scared because they are guilty of whatever they did in the past right so this person is now look look at this person confused as to how do i approach them now they look happy they look single they look independent right how do i go back to them now So well that's what i have for you cancer till next time then love and light take care namaste